I hope everybody's enjoying their Thanksgiving, uh, eating that turkey, uh, watching the football, getting a nap in from all that trip to fan from the uh, turkey. I know I had a hard time waking up to come to work today, but the weather's going to be a turkey and travel's going to be a turkey overnight tonight if you have to get somewhere. You can just take a look at our watches, warnings, and advisories. If you have an effect here, you can see just about the whole area has some kind of a highlight out. You can see all the areas in the uh, pink. These are winter storm warnings. Most areas east of the divide seeing that as well as eastern Sweetwater County down around Kemmerer as well. The uh, purple areas, winter weather advisories, not quite as much impact here, but there will be some impact. Nothing around Jackson or uh, Afton, but there will be a little bit of snow in this area, just not a ton. As we time out the impacts, pretty much the worst conditions will be through tonight. Then we'll see conditions gradually uh, improve, generally from northwest to southeast. So around Jackson, Afton, seeing uh, the worst impacts probably improve by midnight. Same for the Bighorn Basin as well. Around places like Casper, Buffalo, Riverton, Lander, looks like the worst times will be through tonight, improving during the day on Friday. Rock Springs probably lingering the longest, so this may have to do more with wind than actual snowfall amounts. Since I show you this expected wind gusts, maybe some gusts of 40 to 50 miles per hour here. They could blow and drift that snow around if you don't get as much as further off to the north. Maybe some stronger wind gusts around Casper as well, around 30 around Dubois and around 30 around Cody. Other, elsewhere, wind's not really expected to be much of an issue. Now we took a look at some of the uh, snowfall things, how much snow, so we'll give you a range of possibilities here, at least four inches or more. You can see where the epicenter of the storm is going to be, pretty much from southern Johnson County down here through uh, the Trona County, Fremont County, Hot Springs County, and western portions of Park County as well. Just about 100% chance of seeing four or more inches from uh, sunset through about 5 a.m. on Saturday morning. Cast were over toward uh, Riverton, Lander as well, and up toward the Thermopolis area. Includes Casey as well, dropping off quite a bit as you go further north than that. And about a 1 in 2 chance across the I-80 corridor. Now we bump this up to 8 inches. It cuts back across much of the area, but still the upper center basically. You were from Crowheart, Shoshone down toward Riverton Lander, over here toward Casper, and up toward KC, likely seeing the highest amounts of snow out of the system. Now expect at least this much snow again. This starts at about dark tonight and goes through 5 a.m. on Saturday, although most of the snow should be over by Friday afternoon. See, I'd say at least probably another two to six inches across Johnson County, at least five around Casper, anywhere from about four to ten across um, Fremont County, most down toward the uh, Wind River Range, more as you head up, less, I should say, as you head north, at least four more inches around Thermopolis as well. One, at least one to two across the I-80 corridor, maybe four around Kemmerer. Now, the likely worst case scenario, if you don't like snow, I don't like snow, so I definitely don't like this map here. Remember, worst case scenario, maybe over a foot, maybe 18 inches across southern Fremont County, anywhere from about eight to 12 across uh, the Trona County, four to 10 across uh, portions of Johnson County with the highest amounts further south across southern portions of it, and across the Bighorn Basin, anywhere from about two to eight, lesser amounts up north, and the higher amounts down here around Thermopolis. Now, the most likely forecast, our official forecast, I'll show you that right now. Again, highest amounts, that matches up pretty well. Eight to 12 inches expected southern Johnson down toward the Crown County, grow it's uh, US 26. Highest amounts, Riverton Lander, I think especially down toward Lander, calling for 12 to 18 inches. 18 might be pushing it a little bit, but a pretty good chance of seeing over a foot in some of these areas. Six to eight around Thermopolis, about three to four around Cody. Down here, Kemmerer could get a decent amount to about eight to 12 if things set up right, includes Diamondville as well. I-80, anywhere from about two to four inches, but we'll be blowing and drifting around more. And the further you head to the north across this area, amount should drop off quite a bit. Now, here's our resources here. You want weather, just go to our website, weather.gov slash R-A-W. Now, for road conditions, again, don't call us for the road conditions. Go to YDI and get it right from the source here. You want to go on the web, it's a great web page, wildroad.info. You want to call them on the phone. If you're in-state, just call 511, out-of-state, 188 Wild Road. Now you want to look at those webcams for your stuff. We have stuff all around the state, not just in our area. Go to our website, go to our local programs tab, and click down to webcams. Be safe, everybody, and enjoy your holiday weekend.